Hello, everyone. This image has frozen. This is from a long time ago. This is from earlier this morning. Uh, I don't know what... Uh, I, I, okay, I can disable the... No, we just... Yeah, what if we just leave it like this? What if we just leave it like this? No, uh, let's, I think if I hit this button and then hit this button again. Hello, here we are for reals. Hi. How's everyone doing? It's Wednesday, and you know what that means. It's time to play some AEW Fight Forever. I guess this is um, technically out on consoles. If you buy the expensive version of the game, uh, it is not on PC yet. And um, yeah, it, the the Steam situation seem. I, I don't. I I would be curious to. to like ask game developers what they think about that, but like they're not even letting you pre-order the game on Steam, let alone preload it. Like it's just like add to wish list. It's out in twenty hours, and I that always seems weird. I don't know like like what the if there's some legality there where they they don't they didn't check a box somewhere to start taking pre-orders because they didn't have something filled out. I I don't know. Um, it just adds to this ramshackle feeling of uh, the the run-up into the release of this video game. I've got it on PlayStation 5, and we'll play some of it there uh, today, uh, right about now. And um, I guess I'll preface it. You know, I, I don't... I think this game is... Uh, it is simultaneously roughly what I expected, but also quite disappointing um as a fan of AEW I will say I do not feel that this game is a good representation of AEW like that doesn't necessarily mean it's a bad video game across the board I think there are aspects of it that have a certain charm and if you look at what they're going for you go like okay I see what they're doing but I I don't it's um yeah disappointing the the question in the chat here from uh super super hikes what oh super reese uh is it a solid foundation though no i don't think it is i don't think this is a solid foundation to build off of i think that um DLC and updates will not fix this game. I think that there are aspects of it that have a certain amount of charm, but I look at this and go like, yeah, you've got to put out another game like next, like you need to, okay, you need a do over. You need to like, okay, do, like do it again and take it seriously next time or, you know, whatever it, it you know, the, um, th they need to do this again, but for reals because this has, at times the feel of almost like a proof of concept, a certain amount of like, okay, yeah, yeah all right, you proved you can do it. I mean, Ux has shipped a lot of games, so it's not surprising, I suppose, that the game has shipped, but it, it you know, there's just a lot of, um, they cut a lot of corners. It's, it's a game that feels like a budget game, but they're charging $60 for it. It's a game that feels like it, at some point in development, Someone was maybe like, what if we charged 30 bucks for this? And then like someone came in and said, are you kidding? The amount of time we've had to like spend paying people, paying devs, like getting this thing, like, mm -mm, like licensing music. Like we can't do that. You know, like I, this, if this had come out at a budget price point, you would look at it and go like, yeah, great. It's awesome. Like it's a, it's a, it's a first attempt and. You know, hey, they're they're kind of going for that kind of N64 level of gameplay. They don't really, you know, I, I don't think they hit it as well as they could have. But neat. All right. It's nice to have something different in the market. But instead, it comes out at $60 and becomes more directly comparable to, um, you know, the, the WWE game, which isn't always a fair comparison because obviously the WWE game has been in development for years. But, you know, they changed devs pretty recently. Also, I would say... I think the WWE game fucking sucks as a video game. It's really funny to see all these reviews go, this is the best WWE game in years. I was like, 
It's the lowest bar. It's the lowest bar. Um, and so, like, I guess that to, to, to that point, like, I'm, I'm, you know, I don't want people to think I'm like sitting here comparing it feature for feature with the WWE game. I mean, they they have been telegraphing that this is a smaller effort for years. You know, there's like, you know, there's been they've been very forward with like, oh, you know, we just want to put the thing out and have a good time. It's not, you know, it's not going to be. You know, like that it's been, that it's a first generation product. And so in that way, I think that, you know, you look at it and go like, cool, man. Yeah, of course, it's not going to be directly immediately comparable to a game that's been, you know, a franchise that's, that's been around one way or the other for decades. But, um, I think a lot of the things that are not in the game are really striking. Uh, I think that it is small and shallow. It's not, to, again, it's not to say that it's not something you can have fun with. I think the gameplay, is, you know, it's very easy pick up and play. Uh, and, and some people will enjoy that. But I just look at it and go like, as a fan of AEW, I want something that more closely resembles AEW. And I think on that mark, they have missed widely. Um, but it has its charm. Let's get into it. Um, I've, I've been playing it for a number of hours at this point. Uh... And yeah, so let me switch my stuff over here so I can, uh, so I can seize it. And then we'll go from there. All right. I need to be able to hear it. And now I can, oh, that's going to be too loud though. Right, hang on. Let me, let me make it a, an audio adjustment here real quick here before we, we get too deep into it. I'll launch the game and while it loads. I will fix the audio in, in my headphones because it is too loud. Okay. That's probably a little more like it. Alrighty. Um, this is the PlayStation 5 version of the game again. And this will probably be the first time that I get to actually... Oh. Well, that's the first time that's happened. <laughs> um, I have not been able to play it online, and so uh, I, I've, I've been sticking to a lot of the single-player stuff. And uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> the I hope it's some persistent error that's just going to crash again right now because there's something wrong with like they turned on some online server that's actually okay. Okay. Um. So I, you know, I, I've kind of been through the shop and unlocked the, I guess, what I would consider the important stuff, which is Cody Rhodes and Aubrey Edwards. Um. There's a lot of stuff in this game that, you know, I, I look at and go like, oh man, you really went for the the late 90s, early 2000s wrestling game motif of, for example, not bothering to fucking name anything. And I'm, you know, like I'm trying to find a good entrance for fake John Cena and going like, is it General Mail 63? No? Is it General Mail 63? I know there's a military salute in here somewhere. Uh, is it General Mail sixty six? It's got to. It's got to be in here somewhere. And and um, stuffs. That's the stuff that I look at and go like, it would have not been difficult to go in and rename this stuff in a way that would have uh, made it not feel like that. Instead of just like we have all our taunts. Here's LFG fourteen. Here's LFG sixteen. You know what I mean? A lot of shit like that. Um, horse. I do like that one of the unlockables is horse. Uh, 
Um, but yeah, not you know all of the the. It's it's weird because you get into the, we'll we'll get into the custom stuff a little later. Let's let's just do some wrestling because it's like there's a lot. Um, let's look at the roster. Let's look at some of these faces here. Um, it's a pretty good. When was the last time Abaddon was on AEW television? Is Abaddon still with the company? I don't even know. Adam Cole looking a little Hangman-esque, but then Hangman looking a little Adam Cole. That's, this is a problem with your Adams. <laughs> uh, uh, the in-game models uh, are not a uh, hundred percent this. Also, so you know, there's there's something. You know, you got Anna Jay in there. Aubrey Edwards, we had to unlock. Uh, Brian Cage, okay, yeah, yeah, a little Britt Baker, Danielson. Some of the eyes on these guys look a little, a little, a little rough. You know, Jericho in his uh, spiky arm era. Christian, there, yeah, a little Chuck Taylor, yeah. This fucking guy. Cody Rhodes looks like uh, overly built up. Like, it's just something about his... Yeah, I don't know. Like, he's looking extra SNK boss uh, in some of these uh, things here. You got Darby. Well, Dustin Rhodes. You know, the, the Eddie Kingston model that was floating around a month ago or something that people were like, look at how bad this game looks. Like, that turned out to not be from the final version of the game. That said, I think that um, Eddie Kingston's a character they could have done better with. Sheeta, looking good. Yeah. Jade Cargo looks all right. And Jeff Hardy. I love John Silver. I will always, I will always love John Silver. It's like, this is like young John Moxley. Like what it's, <laughs> they've, look at how, when was the last time Moxley's forehead looked that smooth? You know, yeah, this, this is, yeah, exactly. This is Dean Ambrose. This is not John Moxley. This is, no, fuck it. This is like Indie Circuit fucking YouTube video of John Moxley does amazing Dusty Rhodes impression. John Moxley. Look at this. Uh, Jungle Boy has taken the mantle of, uh, you know, Triple H is not with us anymore in a wrestling context. And so Jungle Boy is now the hair, the go to how's the hair in this game. I'll tell you, it's bad. I think Kenny Omega looks like one of is maybe one of the best models in the game. It's not, which is unsurprising, I suppose. Not so much that it is hyper accurate to Kenny Omega, more so that it looks like a stylized, almost anime take on Kenny Omega that I almost prefer. Like if they had gone with a more stylized look across the entire roster, I think that would have been really fucking neat. But instead, Kenny Omega is the only one that gets that treatment. Uh, Statlander's in it. You got Lance Archer in here. Luchasaurus. Malachi Black. We've got some silly photos of Malachi Black from the story mode that we will look at. I think the Bucks don't look very good. <laughs> There's a, a shot of Nick Jackson I posted to the Discord taken out of the story mode that's just like, what is this? What is going on here? You got Miro in there. MJF showing off the ring. Okay, yeah, this picture of Nick Jackson is not particularly great either. Um... They, I, well, you know what? We're going to pick Nick Jackson for the match because I want to see his in-game model, but I'm left with the impression that they did Nick Jackson real fucking dirty <laughs> in this game. Nala Rose, Orange Cassidy, uh, Pack. Yeah, sure. I this, this is not... I don't know. The face doesn't... The Penta, Hobbs, Ray Phoenix, Ricky Starks. It's, I don't, it's not a great Starks. 
got Rio in here, Ruby Soho. Sammy Guevara also perhaps done a little fucking dirty. <laughs> Ricky is FTW champ. So yeah, I mean, keep in mind that like this game was roster locked like in the late 70s. So there's a lot of stuff that's just not up to date. I, I have not done any matches that have made the belts change hands. Um, this is just, you know, remember Ricky Starks had a good long run with that FTW title before Hook existed or before Hook was more than just a background guy. Um, and, and so this game is from then. And I think if this game had come out then and maybe not been full price, it would be a much easier recommendation to make. Uh, Scorpio of Sky, this ends up being like, this This ends up somehow accidentally being like really recent <laughs> roster stuff by virtue of them waiting for Scorpio Sky to come back to put the game out. That's what they were waiting for. That must be what happened. Like, we gotta get Scorpio Sky back and then we can put the game out. Uh, I got Time Hello in here. Yeah. Thunder Rosa is the women's champ out of the gate here. Yeah, he, uh, also it's Sting. Trent, Wardlow, Man Bun Era Wardlow. I love that we have a video game with Yuka Sakazaki in it. And then uh, John Cena's here as well. AEW's, uh, I, I think this guy's got a, you know, he's got a shot. I think he, he'll, you know, he's, we'll see. Um, okay, let's do Nick Jackson and Sammy Guevara because those are the I feel like those are the ones I want to see in game most of all I have not gone through and played a match with every single character on the roster the, this picture these pictures look a little bit better the following contest is set for one fall this will be an exciting match that's the extent of the commentary in the game making his way to the ring is what happened I can hit these buttons to make the pyro go, which is a fun idea, but only for a couple seconds because they did not include full entrances. Instead, they just got these abbreviated entrances, which is, you know, a choice. I, I come at that from like, you know, back in the N64 era, when we were doing, you know, wrestler of the day, entrance of the day, you know, like people were pouring over those videos like crazy. Um, people wanted full intros. And people would obsess over you know, and, and like the presentational aspect of it was something that people very much wanted. And so I look at it now, it's like, OK, you could argue that like, oh, it's a throwback to the N64 days. Or like they cut a bunch of fucking corners and didn't put full entrances in the game. Like they, it's, I don't think that, I don't think that's a good call. Like you can make this game play like those N64 games without also cutting the same corners that they cut 20 years ago. Uh, game's basically got a punch button, a kick button, and a grapple button as its kind of main things here. Obviously, there, you know, there's a button to pick them up. There's a, you know, those sorts of things as well. It's got counters in the N64 tradition of stick your chest out to counter strikes. You're like no cell button, and then it's got a, a grapple counter as well. By default, I think it ships with like an easy counter functionality turned on that um, lets you also use the face buttons, and, you know, and I've turned on, there's a visual effect for when counters happen that I that I enabled. Timing counters, I have not found to be super easy. Generally speaking, I think I like a lot of the animation. Um, It doesn't transition as well as maybe you want. This is probably going to be his signature. Assuming it's, yeah. 
This is all not, that's all, I didn't, I just, all I did was hit a direction on the D-pad to do that, and it, it took over from there. Now we have taunted to enable our super, and now we'll hit our finish. Oh, it's a, yeah, I guess that makes sense. I guess we have a, a downed signature as well. And that'll be a rope break. Um, as far as I can tell, there's no submission mini game or anything of that nature. It just the, the hold gets put on and and that's that. Now, what I'll say about the game having heart is maybe summed up in some of the story mode stuff. But also, I will say uh, there is a hidden trophy in the game uh, for getting a seven-star match. I think that's funny. And on brand. <laughs> well, like it or not, it's on brand. <laughs> Um, those models did not look as bad in game like this model right here looks okay but like in there's some stuff in the story mode and, and other other a couple other versions of Nick Jackson that you just go like what the fuck is that? what happened here um, let's just do a couple more matches here and um I don't know. Um, we'll do Hangman. Uh, I don't know. Does anyone have any one they definitely want to see? Uh, Jungle Boy, yeah. Let's see Jungle Boy's hair in action. Not a ton of arenas here, but, uh, you know, we do have, I suppose, the different looks. Is the music licensed? There's a there's a ton of music in this game. There are some licensed tracks. They actually sent an email saying, like, hey, fucking, well, I guess we'll run into it here, you know, on the archive or something. But they're like, hey, uh, don't, you know, maybe don't play the fucking... Baltimore song and you know like some of those licensed songs are in here by default that uh that HUD for the pyro stuff is not turned on I, I I turned it on to try to get a better sense of like what I could actually do there Was there music playing through the match last time? <laughs> I just didn't know. Like, uh, it has the concept of a strong grapple and weak grapple. You know, if you hold the grapple button down, it, it does what you think it would do. real bad uh, you can kind of combo your punches and kicks together um, uh, 
Let's see what his uh, signature is here. his name all you fucking want. He's done. Here is your winner, I think that, yeah, again, there are aspects of it that kind of, like, kind of hit hard and, you know, some of those impact we can... But it basically feels like anything that AEW already had, like, ownership of, music-wise, they just fucking threw in. There's, like, a ton of music. To, like, if you want to put all any of that music on your custom characters, you can, you know, you, you have a lot to, to kind of choose from. This bout is set for one fall. This will be a highly exciting match. Making um. her way to the ring, Yuka Sakazaki. And you can you can change the camera to ruin the fucking shot of Cody's entrance. I think I, you know, I don't know that I like the music and match thing. If it's not uh, natural born killers. When we go to the creative character stuff, you'll see kind of the different spots where you can put moves. And, you know, it'll, I think it'll look relatively familiar if you are, like, familiar with those N64 games. Like, the style of, like, oh, okay, yeah, you've got, you know, your weak grapple front, weak grapple, you know, like, like strong grapple front. Um, can you share creative characters online? No. No, you cannot. That's the sort of stuff I'm talking about when it's, I say it feels like they cut a ton of corners, like just from a feature perspective, you just look at it and go like, this isn't, this does not meet the standard. And those are the sorts of things you look at and go like, if it was a more budget priced game, that's the sort of stuff I think you would look at and go, yeah, cool. Um, that, that's understandable. But instead at, at $60... Um, and, and, you know, more, I think, for the, like, elite edition of the game. I don't know what they're charging for that. Um, 
That stuff's just kind of disappointing. And I, you know, I don't know. Do you, you like I, I, I could go either way on some things. Um, seventy-two dollars on PSN with PlayStation Plus. Okay. I mean, the canonical match, right? No, wait, I, oh, I pushed to the right because I wanted to change arena, but it did not accept the button press. So we're, here we are, back at full gear. Making his way to the ring, Give him some dancing broom girls. I like that I can, um, I can still hit the pyro even though he's nowhere near it. So I can hit R2, uh, R2 from a grapple to do the Irish whip. And uh, it's like that mode in Dead or Alive. Maybe a little disappointing going through it. I don't know. But I think, you know, that there's the, the, again, the, the part where you're playing it, I think is, it's okay. I think my biggest problem with it is it just doesn't feel, I, I don't feel like the characters are, are being like fully represented, right? And I think it's the, it's the problem with a lot of wrestling games over the years. Um, but I think it's it's something that is is really prominent with the style of game they're trying to emulate here, like a lot of those N64 games. Um, is that they just don't, they don't always feel like themselves, if that makes any sense. Here's this. Imagine if it had been like that. I think the Kenny model looks really great in game, um, like, like just across the board uh, you know, in some of the cutscene stuff. Though sometimes it feels like that they have different models for different scenes or something. Maybe it's just a weird angle in some cases, but. But I, I wish that maybe they had gone for like a like. See what I mean? Like, look at this version of the model and the version we were just looking at in game. Like, it looks different, right? And I'm sure it's just like, oh, well, the, you know, with the clothes on or something, maybe it looks, you know. But but I think this version of the model looks looks good. Like, and I, I think that there's just stuff about the um, some stylistic choices they could have made with some of the characters that I think would have. I don't know. 
a more stylized look overall, I think, would have really worked well for this game. Not like over the top, like, you know, WWE All-Stars or anything nuts like that, but... Um, I just, yeah, it just feels like there, there would have been... There's like more of the... The following contest is a casino battle royale! Oh, so I actually just pick a whole group here. I, yeah, I don't want to. The following contest is a casino battle. Play as Aubrey. Okay. Our AEW heels shirt. I'm going to go with this. Okay, now let's select a different arena. Let's go for all out. Like this, the, this, Eddie Kingston here on this screen has a real like budget fighting game kind of look like versus screen look to him that I appreciate the is a casino battle royale 21 competitors are about to put it all on the line in a casino royale match making his way to the ring Silver. And his opponent, Just Pyro going off. He's nowhere near it. Just... And Dolby We'll do a Darby match because I haven't really messed with the skateboard stuff. Oh, I guess since I drew the ace, I am not in this match yet, huh? Okay, well, let's see how it goes. But you know, the, the, if you if you watch AEW, then I think it's it's plainly obvious that there's just like huge gaps in the roster. That's not new news, right? I don't think anyone is going to be massively surprised by that because that's that's been known for a long time um, that the roster was just like largely incomplete and largely old. I think again, when you fire it up and you see Ricky Starks with the FCW title. Um, Thunder Rosa with the, with the women's title, like you know, you just look at it and go like, okay, like you start you start to dial in on like when they locked it, when they said like, all right, here's our game. D don't talk to me about any changes because I don't have to. We don't have time for it. Yeah, William Regal's shows up in the tutorial uh, stuff, but it, you know, again, it, it's like some of this other stuff where you see just like his face on this corner of the screen and he goes like, here's how you do this, and it's like one line of dialogue. Like they could have changed it out with someone else if they wanted. That seems like something. They could have changed if they wanted to. Um, and chose not to. I don't know. I love William Regal, so I, I don't, you know, it's not. But it's just, it's just one of those situations that you just, like, the game just feels old. Uh, and, and not complete. And not in a, like, oh, well, they're going to add more DLC. Because they are going to add more DLC. But this just the the roster the is just there just it feels very um again I, it all it all contributes to this overall feeling I have of um this game just doesn't feel like AEW to me because I, I part of it is I don't think that this style of like N sixty four wrestling game 
really translates to the a lot of the high flying and a lot of the high speed and the 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 storytelling that you know with the the match quality in AEW I don't think can be the in the differentiation between the the wrestlers themselves their in-ring abilities I, I feel like that this style of game does not do a good job of showcasing that and so like th that doesn't mean it's a bad video game um but it's also why I say I don't I don't feel like this is a good foundation for the future for them because I, I look at it and go like you need something again I just like something that feels a little bit more like AEW and I'm sure this you know we'll try the online multiplayer like you know again as a video game it's it's fun you know it's it's simple it, it's it's easy to pick up it's easy to understand it, you know um And there's value there, because I think that the WWE game is, like, overly complicated a lot of the time in ways that are not fun, in ways that are, like, they try to make it a simulation of a thing that isn't a simulation. Uh, and that's dumb in its own way. Um, Rev Horowitz says, would you rather be playing WWE 2K3? Or I guess I assume you mean 2K23. But, but, no. No, I didn't. The only, the only benefit you would get there is I almost wonder if created characters in that game for some of these AEW guys, if, if those would sometimes be better representations of those characters. Like, maybe not visually, but in terms of just, like, moveset and, and options and, and whatever else. But, like, no, I don't want to play that game under any circumstances. Like, I played it for a couple of weeks when it first came out. I don't think those games are fun to play. I think, you know, for, for the very reason I said, you know, like the... They're trying to create a simulation of a thing that's not a simulation. And... I don't think that works. look at some in-ring, you know, some, some actual photography or some actual television, but I'm going to say Luchasaurus doesn't look as big as he seems like he should be, especially standing next to Moxley there. Moxley's not a small man. AI seems bad, I'll say. <laughs> um, as you see Moxley just throwing discus punches at no one and doing taunts. They seem like the, the the battle royale mechanics seem very simple. It's just like, hey, you whip them into the ropes, and if their momentum is low, they will go out. It doesn't seem like they created any kind of button mashing mini game. Like like the in ring action is very low on mini games. It doesn't you know there's no like submission escape mini game. There's no you know nothing nothing like that. Which is you know. I, Luchasaurus is listed as one inch taller than Moxley. Okay, all right, yeah, all right, that's there you go. I guess that's. I just, you know, it's, it's the roster thing, I think, is a gigantic bummer. Um, we'll get into the creation tools. I think that the character creation stuff is rotten. I think it's like downright when you when you look at some of the stuff that's in there and some of the stuff that's not and how like anemic that mode is. It, it's like it's kind of I, I think it's kind of embarrassing that a shipping $60 game, a wrestling game in this day and age, when you know how much value, just like strategically, you know how much value there can be in people taking screenshots of their created wrestlers and all of that other shit. Um, the way that they, that whole 
those options feel so underdeveloped that you just look at it and go like, I don't understand. Like, of all the things to cut corners on, that seems like one of the dumbest ones to cut. You know, like, there's, there's practically no facial customization. You just have, like, seven or eight preset faces. And you choose one. And you can do, like, eye color and stuff like that. But you can't sculpt the face. And you seek a lot of close-ups of that face in the story mode. So it's not like it, you know... You could make the argument of, like, from this range, from this camera distance, who cares? And I would say, hey, I disagree, but all right. Um, but... It's, uh, again, just underdeveloped across the board, I, I think, in, in a lot of ways. And, and and also some of the choices I think that they did make for what they did decide to put in the game. You look at it and go like, this is, I don't, this is maybe not the best way to spend the time or the effort on modes like this when the rest of it is so undercooked. And that's why I say, like, you know, I don't, I don't know about how I feel about this when people say, like, oh, well, it's got good bones. Like, I don't know. I think the gameplay, again, it, 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 for me, it comes back to the look and feel of AEW, and I don't feel like this game does that especially well. None of that means it's a, it's a bad playing video game or, or whatever else, but, like, I, I don't think it's a situation where you go like, ah, well, what we need here is just, you know, hey, patches and DLC will get us there. Like, mm. I think it's more like you need to put out another boxed copy of a video game to get all of this stuff right. And then you can build from there. Is there even going to be another AEW video game given Embracer is a billion and a half dollars in debt? I mean, that's up to AEW. Embracer doesn't control it. I don't... I don't imagine that AEW sold, a, like... Any real rights to Embracer there. I, Embracer, I think, may only be operating as a distributor here because... You know, AEW probably could have published the game themselves. It just they don't have the expertise in-house to probably finish a game and get it you know, uh, certified and, and everything else. Um, and so in, in THQ Nordic can provide those sorts of things. And, um, and also they can distribute physical copies of the game, which there are physical copies of the game. So I, th I think this is a situation where like they didn't have a publisher for a good long time. And I wonder if, if they were thinking about self-publishing for a while because there was talk like, oh, Maybe they'll just self-publish it as a digital-only game, and it'll be this budget thing. And and that that was my impression of the game at first, was like, oh, they're really legit doing a small thing uh, just to kind of get their feet wet, and they're going to kind of do it themselves. And, oh, that's charming. And, and, and then, you know, THQ came in pretty late. Um, and has, has been doing a little bit of marketing and PR. But I think they may largely just be, like, the publisher of record for, you know, for the reasons of, like, doing physical copies and, and getting other distribution shit done. You know, they're going to have QA. We can look at the credits. I'm curious what the, what the THQ credits really even are. But I bet it's, like, finishing type stuff. It's like, hey, you know, we know how to submit shit for cert. You are a wrestling company and you don't. So pay us this and we will do that. We will finish it. We will make sure that it gets closed out and ships and uh, we'll, we'll put the game in boxes and sell it. So Embracer, I, I, that's a long-winded way of saying I don't think Embracer holds any significant rights to AEW games as a franchise. It's always possible that AEW signed a multi-game deal with them, and maybe, you know, maybe that would be a thing, but, you know, it's not like they own... They don't own any piece of this. Here's Eddie. Looks all, you know, looks all right in-game.
Yes, only four people in the ring in this Casino Battle Royale, uh, coming out one at a time, not one suit at a time. Which kind of then... But why this this is not the Casino Battle Royale, because this is not how they run them when they run them. Um, but hey, someone also pointed out, like wrote in yesterday saying like, it seems really weird that a, a company that has trios titles can only allow four people in the ring at a time, to which I would say, I don't see any trios titles. This game is from an era when there were no trios titles. Anna J submitting fucking Luchasaurus over here? Is that... <laughs> they should do the sign thing with Sammy. Isn't this that, that era that he would walk out with signs? Sammy's fully juiced. So is Dustin. We're going to see someone hit a finish here. Oh. <laughs> Eddie, the, the visual of Eddie Kingston just clapping in front of a fallen Sammy Guevara is funny. these days well, I drew an ace right so that I don't I, they go in an order I guess like that was the thing when it was suits it... Uh, all right well there's in-game buffs so buffs are a thing you can assign to a custom wrestler but I'm, I'm sure that like the default wrestlers have a assortment of them as well where you'll get like a brief momentum buff for like um if you land the first attack then you might get a brief buff to your uh, momentum increase or there's some for um a diving attack if you if you do a diving attack then you uh will get a, a m momentum buff but all all of the buffs are just buffs to your momentum it's not like it's not necessarily a damage buff per se there are also uh custom you know you can assign different talents to a wrestler that are more active like uh, if you want to do, do, have like springboard stuff, or if you want to be able to kip up, that's a thing you can you can choose to assign to a custom wrestler. Joey Janela, no, Joey Janela is not in here. Yeah, if, they, if, they, if, they, if there's no spinning toe hold, how are we supposed to make Dory Funk Jr.? There's a lot. <sighs> Look, it took me a long time just to find a military salute, okay? I feel like stuff that you would expect to be in there in terms of, like, hey, we're going to put some moves in here that other wrestlers that will never be in this game maybe use so that you can maybe assign them to, like, the wink and nod custom wrestler stuff. I feel like there's maybe not enough of that. Jiggling Wardlow over there. So Wardlow got an elimination buff for getting an elimination. Now he has a brief buff to momentum. He's already special, so it doesn't really matter, but...
Just two guys standing over a writhing body attempting to grab each other. That's the AI experience. Hey, a little two on one. I have no idea how to do that. Chanting best friends. I know that's a tag team, but none of them are. They just want to see him. They just want to see the best friends in the ring. I get it. Any licensed music entrances in the game? Yeah, I mean, it's got Jungle Boy's music. I think it's got three or four. Uh, like, it's got CM Punk's music in there, I believe. I think it's all, you know, yeah, we, you know, some of it maybe sound alike stuff, but. Here we go. It's about to get real. I would, yeah, it'd be nice to see that, you know, it'd be interesting to see them do. Like a forbidden door themed DLC with different other uh, different other organizations. Like if they could do a new Japan pack. But also if they just went beyond like what Forbidden Door the show is and, and just went and said like, hey, we're doing a, a TJPW pack, like that'd be fucking awesome. Like would the main AEW audience buy that? I don't know. Isn't Owen Hart in this? That's a good question. No. He's supposed to be, though, isn't he? Yeah. Maybe that's a DLC. Th oh, is he unlockable? Okay. Yeah, maybe there's. Is there, oh, here, I, here, here we go. I get to play the game. trouble landing much of anything here. I 
I don't know how to aim. Uh, okay. Didn't feel like there was much I could do there. Seems like I should have been able to walk over there and kick him off, but... Ugh. I really need to figure out how to aim. <laughs> like... It's not... Oh, clicking left stick? Yeah, that probably is. I think it's like the last thing I haven't hit. Oh. I'm getting countered a lot in a way that did not happen a lot any other time. Pick him up. Strong grapple. There. Get the fuck out. out of the way. <laughs> All I had to do was punch him on that one, I guess. Oh, come on. Okay, sure. Get over the... Oh, I can't even get there. No, left stick doesn't seem to be doing it. Pick her up. Fucking pick her the fuck up and throw her out. God damn it. I'm pushing the fucking button. But like it's getting interrupted like before any animation from Jungle Boy has started. It seems like it's preventing me from even pushing anything. That was weird. There. I feel like if Kenny was the Joker in one of these, well, you know, hey, maybe he was out injured for a good long time and you're like, oh my God, Kenny Omega is back. But
Oh, Jesus Christ. Looks like you've been injured. <laughs> oh, okay. Head damage. Oh, jeez. I'm just going to stay down here for a minute. Don't mind me. That's right. Here is your winner. That's fucking right. Edwards. That was one for the ages. What a match. <laughs> HP zero. Felt pretty good to kick Kenny Omega out of the ring there at the end. Let's see, you know, I've not really spent a lot of time with ladder match stuff. Let's see if anything silly happens there. What's the money used for? There's a shop where you buy a horse and Cody Rhodes. Oh, let's see. Um... Try this guy, uh, and how about this guy? What is this music? Isn't this the dynamite theme song that you just never hear because there's pyro and people yelling over it? I never, I don't know. Is a ladder match, and it is for the All Elite Wrestling World Champion. Benches. I'm gonna gargle Expect your piss! Expect the unexpected in this exciting ladder match. Tony Khan will pay for his Make sure you don't forget this. Okay. I say, like, across the board, if this game feels like it's like, you know, and, and Yuke's made it, and they're trying to make that N64 game, and I think they've really achieved a real Japanese vibe to this game, that even the later Yuke's games that WWE was, you know, putting out, they had kind of bred that out of it a little bit. And so this feels like kind of a weird throwback with stuff like this, like the choices they've made around, you know, or lack of commentary, right? Um, or just like, here's a picture of a guy saying like, you should look at this. Here's the thing you should see. Um, there are a few lines in the story mode pretty early on that do this type of treatment, but with, um, JR and it was like Jim Ross introducing AEW's first pay-per-view which would be a hype moment but instead they just brought him into a rec recording booth and said go ahead and it's him going like here we are 
It's the first pay-per-view for AEW. All Elite Wrestling is live and on the air. We've got an exciting card for you. It's just like the most flat, quiet room read that you just look at and go, I mean, it, you know, all right, yeah, all right. say what you will about JR. He is oftentimes excited or at least raspy voiced in his attempts to yell. Um, but it had none of that. It was just like, here's the thing that we're doing. I don't know. I'm talking to you about, and there's, you know, I've taken seven shits today. I always wear darks. Um, and you know, like, like that, you know, you get, get some, get, get him excited. Give him the vocal direction to be like, no, JR, act like you're on television in front of a crowd. Try to get it, you know, try to bring it up a notch. And, and it's, it's just one of those things you go like, it was there, who was in the booth, who produced this VO that didn't get the memo that this is supposed to be exciting. Um, it's a lot of this, you know, it, like it feels like half the characters do this thing that when I combo punches into kicks, they've all got this fucking same standing fucking drop kick, you know? And so I, I think a lot of the gameplay stuff just feels like generic in a way that is not, um, no, no, that's not, did I hold the button down? Is that the, pro the mistake I made there? Oh, thanks. Seems like I should be able to do something here. Ghost ladders. Oh, yeah. Fucking take it on the ladder. What's David Zaslav think of that? Fuck face. just staying down for longer because it's a ladder match because this doesn't happen in regular matches chance to end the match. It's like they they the the decision they made for AI in a ladder match is to just make people stay down way longer. Oh, here we go. It's something resembling a mini game. Oh, look at that. And so now we got to hit this and now we got to hit this. Now is it most of the way undone? So all he has to do is hit like one button to get it. Yeah, he's on the last. Get up, dumbass. Hit the fucking ladder.
hit it again. Now I'll try to taunt here. No. Finisher stealing is another one of those things that like has to be like only certain characters do it. Or at least when you're creating a custom character, it's something you can assign or not assign. Let's see. Uh, I mean, what haven't we seen on the wrestling side of things? I guess a tag team match or, you know, two on two. Well, let's see what we get here in terms of I don't have Matt Hardy even though he's a pre-order bonus like the codes they sent out did not so the, the game has challenges like daily and weekly challenges and it'll be like win a match with this character and it gave me a challenge for win a match with Matt Hardy even though I didn't have Matt Hardy which is kind of filthy um, now let's do No private party, no, no private party, no acclaimed Um you know, no FTR, obviously. You know, and, and, like, people were really up in arms about the FTR thing. Like, oh, they're snubbing them. Like, I don't really feel like anyone got truly snubbed. I think it's just that they... I don't know. There's people that were with the company at the time when they made these calls that are not in the fucking game, you know? Like, like FTR was always kind of on the cusp there of, like, when they joined the company, the roster was probably mostly locked. I do look at, you know, I like, Evil Uno should be in this game. Introducing the champion. Sunny Kiss should be in this game. Introducing the challenger. First red. The dots over the characters, I think, show who the legal man is. You know, if you can't say shit on TV, can we get, can say shit in the video game and we make that happen? 
Okay, I can't. There we go. Hmm. Like everyone was stuck there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they need these dots during actual AEW tag team. Yeah. Dots and then like, you know, like, you know how they, in hockey, they did the thing where they tried to light up the puck, like light up the tag rope when it's being held. Like, is the tag rope being held? No? Tag's not legal. Yeah, I don't know how to do that. That was all his, like, signature. Do I think they would add John Morrison? I, you know, if they eventually want to have an accurate game over the years, like I don't, you know, like who knows what their long-term strategy is at this point, right? Like, is it, um, you know, they they've announced a for a kind of initial block of DLC and some of the characters that'll show up there, and um. But like the long-term plans probably have to be based on if people f care about it. They it, it sounded like initially, you know, kind of talking to folks about the game early on, again, that it was designed to be this smaller thing and it wasn't meant to be an annual series out of the gate. I'm sure they would love to eventually get to a point where they, if they don't have an annual game out every year that they are at least have a, a steady cadence of updates that keep the roster current and keep the game fresh but again you know if you join late like I, I just don't think that this game is good enough to be that foundation and I, I feel like that there's just a lot of fundamental stuff that this thing needs before things like new match types and DLC and, and whatever else before that feels like enough because I look at it as like, there's infrastructure things. You need the ability to to upload and download created characters. You the the created character stuff is anemic and 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 sad. Um, and you know more parts help with that. But like, if you can't share them online, that's still a fundamental thing. And there's just a lot of little missing things here that I feel like before they go and try and you know go off to the races with new character updates like I there's just a lot more that they need to do let's buy glasses five because we can I guess I've already bought all of the oh not all of it we need the time worn wall and gate two of course of course we need gate one and gate three I mean let's not be silly here we already bought everything here Uh, you can see these things in like better detail when you're actually going to creating a character. Um, the mask selection is abysmal. The, you know, this just. The, uh, all right. Um, yeah. So, like I was saying, there's there's challenges of a of a daily and weekly variety that get you more currency for buying like that pretty small list of things that are unlockable. Um. Let's see if we can find an online match. The game's out now, right? Hmm. Here we go. Buy the horse. I bought the horse. What are you, crazy? Horse was like the first thing I bought. Ah, oh, here we go. Oh, come on. This is maybe not a great sign. 
Again, the, the game is not out widely until tomorrow. Um, yeah, John Sheeta. Yes, I had to. Uh, you can you can select what the announcer calls your wrestler, and uh, John Sheeta was as close as I could get. <laughs> This bout, this bout and this should be one hell of a singles ball. match. Making his way to the ring. Someone out there online just going like, Cody Rhodes, baby. What happened there? This guy's way better at countering than I uh, will probably ever be. And so that'll... That'll be a problem. Classic John Cena move. He's always doing those backflips. That felt weird from a latency perspective. Rope break immediately.
Oh. Damn. Didn't get it. Much different game playing against another human, that's for sure. I don't think my created character has the ability to dive through the ropes. Not that John Cena would do that anyway. Try it. One, two. Uh oh. That looked awkward as fuck. What do we think? Two, Come on. Three. Hey. Here is your winner, John Sheeta. I can't believe I was here for this amazing matchup. Well, yeah. It was a classic, to say the least. And one people will be talking about. I can't ago. believe I was here for this famous matchup. Wow, JR, you sound really fucking psyched. John Cena did eight. He has the John Cena's eighty-one moves of doom uh, were successful again. I don't see what the fuck these people three-star match. Fuck you. And it keeps like a local scoreboard for some reason. I, I don't. This, I don't know what value this really has. It seems really weird. Um. Huh. Well, I mean, we could do a try another one. The problem with the created characters, well, I mean, it's not necessarily a problem, but like, you really want to take the created characters through the story mode because you want to level them up. And this John Cena has not really been through. and and maybe they I, I wonder if they just kind of level everyone out out online to make it fair or something but um yeah I'm, I'm not sure maybe it's not that big of a difference you have to unlock friend mode or something to do the hug that's a good question is there a best friend's can you give the people what they want? I, I, fuck, man. Did they ship this game without the ability to give the people what they want? I bet they did. I don't think there's any any consideration in there for like group taunts. This How would I compare it to WWE 2K? I think that game is terrible. I think that game has always been terrible. Um. 
I think the 2K, I, I think the Ukes, even when Ukes was making them just all along, I think there's just been a... What is with all the Cody Rhodeses? Is this just the same dude? Am I wrestling the same dude? Nope, different guy. Doesn't bode well that day one, what matches have we seen? John Cena versus Cody Rhodes. Ah, AEW's finest. Big hand. Maybe I could counter that, but maybe that's not the right button for it. I don't know. Now, that looked like the counter motion, the, the, the like successful counter graphic there, but then I still got... I don't... I was going to push. Like, can I do this? No. <laughs> or if you can, I sure didn't do it. Oh, silly. Weird counter stuff. Like, okay. Oh, he's dazed. Probably not going to get it off here, am I? I mean, that not that a... Okay, I have to mash? Okay, that seems like it's... His shoulders are down there. I don't know. I don't know. Oh. 
<laughs> what the fuck was that? Okay, yeah, there's some jank. This is janky. I mean, not not WWE uh, Ukes era janky for sure, but uh, I don't, that'll that'll probably be it, huh? And he's pretty low momentum too. I wonder. No. no. All right. Half a star. Brutal. I get to pick a different character if I hit next match, right? Or do I have to... I must maybe pick somebody else. You know, maybe maybe don't put Cody on the loading... Like, you know, put Cody in the game because he did the work, but you, maybe you don't have to, like, call attention to him in the loading screens and stuff, I might, I might say. Um... Also, this is a bold, uh, like having this many options for online instead of just saying like, put me in a match and let me select which matches I'm willing to be in to put into. Like you have to then assume that everyone is out there searching for a ranked exploding barbed wire death match. Uh, So I think it's fun overall. You know, again, I, I think that the just from a gameplay perspective, it has its charm and it's um, got a good pace to it and, and whatever else. I think my most of my problems with it are the, you know, I, I don't, I, it's it's a it's a decent competitive video game. I don't think it's a great representation of AEW. I don't think it's a. I don't think from a presentation standpoint, from a gameplay perspective, like all of those things, I don't think it does a great job of recreating the things I like to see on Wednesday nights and I suppose Saturday nights as well as Friday nights um, when it comes to what AEW does. And I think that's, that's probably my main issue with it. Um, It doesn't mean it's a bad video game, like playing it, you know, it again, it's it's, it's fun up to a point. I don't know. I don't know how much more of this I will want to play out of its like release window or whatever, but the match you've been waiting for.
Oh, how'd that happen? Oh. There is some way to have a like a dud on the explosion. Like they they did they did put that in there, which is a, it's a big part of why I say this game has charm because they they did that. You know, it's a it's a good goofy thing that they did there, and I appreciate that. Um, oh man, I thought I was doing pretty good there for a while, but this is no good. Oh, what's that fast count bullshit? What? All right, well. Wow, what an amazing match. And we got to call it. We got to see it. No, you didn't get to call it. Because no one calls anything in this game. And we got to call it. Just don't say that. If your game's not going to have commentary... The game needs commentary. Excalibur and Taz are too good for the, this game to not have commentary. Like, it's just such a missing, like, the, the game feels so, you know, silent. I mean, obviously, but maybe it was meant to have commentary, got pulled at some point before release. Sure, maybe commentary was on a whiteboard at some point. I could also see them saying, like, oh, that's an expense that we're not going to get into right now because... Well, the N64 game didn't have commentary. You know, like there's, it depends on what their level of devotion to recreating that experience is. I could just as easily see them saying like, no, we don't need it, man. And I think that, oh yeah, in relation to that voice line. Yeah, sure. Yes, anything's possible. I, I don't know. It's... Um... Where is the edit profile? Yeah, so there are there are badges that you earn, I guess, and you can choose some. So you can design uh, your weapon of choice, like what what you want to be on a chair. I chose Cody Rhodes because that just seems like the dumbest option. Um, and then I chose Sammy Guevara because, again, it seemed like the dumbest option. This, this picture of him is not, it's not good. A lot of these pictures look a little, a little off, a little off. Um, but uh, you know, like I said, in terms of, well, okay, wait. Uh, in terms of like music in the game, there's just a fuckload. They did. There's like eight-bit versions of some of the themes in here as well. It's like kind of a lot. That's not to say that it's all like amazing stuff or whatever, but like there's, you have a lot of choices, you know? You get the impression that any music that they owned rights to, they put in the game. <laughs> But yeah, you know, there's a lot, you know, uh, ah, yes, yeah, okay, yeah, just a lot of themes for people that, you know, Symphony versions of yeah. 
Anyway. Um. All right, let's look at the story mode. Over the course of the story mode, you get to take selfies with wrestlers, which is a, a real, uh, I guess I feel like the implication here is that your created character is, is, is a, re it's a re he's a real mark. Um, just out here getting a pump with Jungle Boy. Uh, doing something here in front of a car uh, with Malachi Black. Just out here eating. You know, uh, the story mode is very silly. And... It, that's it, that's neat about it. Um, just depends on how many different little stories and, and how many little things. And so, but it sounds like that it's it's really kind of set here. So how this works is we have four turns to spend before the next event. And I don't know why the John Cena here on this screen has a weird mouth on his forehead. Um, looks real broken. Yeah, it's the shadow under the hat or something. Whatever it is, it looks terrible. Um, so uh, you earn skill points that you can then use to uh, boost these stats. That's how what I was talking about here. Like, hey, if you want your wrestler to be able to do topes and stuff like that. Oh, okay. I guess actually this is also, you know, because there really isn't good instruction in the game. This is not a bad way to learn like, oh, how do I fucking do shit? Like, oh, it's, t it's two button press. It's like Tekken throws to do these um guard rail dives kip ups uh you know if you want to do if you want to steal finishes you need to add that um and then this is the buff stuff i was talking about earlier is if you're buff and you're the stuff then you want to get some of these like boost momentum after you taunt once per match you know i don't know none of these sound awesome <laughs> Um, but I guess as you go down here, like, oh, uh, and the writing on this is, again, something that maybe could have used an another pass when they were, I, I assume, translating it into English or something. Allows you to perform a KO submission with a slight probability during a submission move. So does that mean without that, you can never finish someone with a submission? Or is it only just a KO submission, meaning they don't tap out? Gives you max momentum with a slight probability. They love this phrase with a slight probability. And it just could have used a another pass on this text to make this like a little bit more sensible. I assume that means it has a very low chance to happen. And so with a slight probability, sometimes when your enemy is in the special state, you will you will get max momentum. But it's with a slight probability, so it will not proc frequently. Like, this could have just said, hey, 8% of the time it's going to do this. Like, put the numbers in. Let me see what I'm actually spending these points on. Right? I mean, like, this This is... This stuff's just bad. Um, and then, I guess we can also spend it on... Yeah, you can... Unlock the local souvenir shirt. No thanks. Alright, so right now we have a couple of turns left to go. We've got 80 energy and our uh, our motivation is high. Probably a good idea to do a workout. I'm going to say maybe we do the standard because twenty. we don't want to get injured. 7% injury rate seems okay. This will give us some more points to spend. Well, okay, we don't need energy yet. I'll do the mini game because it's the dumbest option. How about that? I look this this late. When I talk about them doing Nick Jackson dirty, this is the exact image and pose I'm talking about. 
What the fuck is happening here? Like, what? Yes, full goblin mode. Uh, like, I just, there's just a. And these, like, hey, we don't want to have his arms clip through his shirt. So he's going to cross his arms, but hold them out in front of him like this in a very natural way. Because if we get it too close, it'll clip right through. Because video games are hard. It's just real. Again, you know, like just this, there's a real fucking low rent thing going on here that gives it a little bit of charm, but also you look at it and go, you know, AEW deserves better. Focused. Okay, I've never done this one before. What, what? What? Question mark. Well, I hit square and it and it made the whistle, so I assume I got it right. I don't know. That's the first time I've actually won one of the mini games, because if you lose it, he just goes. They just go. Oh, you wasted your turn, and you get nothing for it. It's like a waste of one of your, um, one of your your turns before the next show. Um, I guess I like the idea that they frame the mini games as like part of being the elite. But also I might say for me personally, I think a lot of the being the elite stuff should go away. I think it is aspects of it have its charm i like the dark order does fun bits on it but i think overall it's a concept that has overstayed its welcome and codifying it here in basically like all the segments that are people that are not the elite um are fun yeah ryan nemeth fun but the bucks are not it's not We got to cough up some SK. Do you mean skill points? What? I don't know that I've seen the term SK used anywhere. Oh, this is an amazing picture. <laughs> Cough up some. Yeah, are they coughing up some super kicks. I don't. Yeah, some isk. I'm glad we won because we got to see this version of the Nick Jackson pose as well. And I just, oh, okay. There you go. Wait, stupid. Kid. All right. Is that a, I don't know. I cannot bring myself to watch being the elite. I think it's again, something that seems like it's just should probably be retired. I don't think it makes the company like it, it's just it's this amateurish sort of sort of thing, right? Anyway, um, we'll go to the press conference because it's got this exclamation point next to it. So I think that means we get to take a selfie with somebody if we go. Um, so that's how you have to balance it out. You have to figure out how you're going to spend your time because you want to go into the next match with high energy and high uh, motivation, but also you need to earn currency so that you can, you know, spend stuff 
or or so that you can you can level up your guy, right? Advice from Dustin Rhodes here. Nice. But also, your guy is always asking for selfies in a way that. Okay, so we have one more turn here. Uh, you know, we don't really need to eat because our energy is pretty good. We could do like a light workout and it only costs us 12 energy. Or, I mean, we could do the, the heavy one and get... Let's, let's see if we want to um, spend any points here. This, yeah, we don't have enough to buy any of this stuff and we don't really... Increases the number of skill points you can earn in a week. I, I don't really need any of this stuff. We have excellent motivation. So workout is probably the right answer, but I'm curious about what the local food is. So we're going to make the wrong choice here just so we can see the, what the local food is. Ion Storm? Is this like a... Is that an actual restaurant or is that like a fucking weird Texas game developer joke that someone slid into this thing? I'll take an Anachronox, please. A lot of questions here. I, I oh, uh, I chose non-vegetarian. Um, so you could choose the, or you can, or you can choose the vegan food option. So all of these meals will end up being vegan. Hmm. Flowerland, aren't it? Oh, good to know. All of the restaurants have this same basic. They, you know, they kind of made one restaurant environment and change the palette on it a little bit. Um, like this makes me, the, the idea of like, here's a picture of actual food. I mean, we're going to look it up. We're going to look it up. Is Ion Storm a real restaurant in Austin? I just, I, or, or, cause I, I would believe it if these were all real restaurants. It's such a weird Doesn't look like it. Okay. Like, but if you told me that all of the restaurants in this game were real restaurants that they were just, I thought would be funny to be in here, I'd be like, yeah, sure. John Cena, I saw you enjoying some Tex-Mex and wanted to talk to you. That's a sentence. Let, this is the part I like a lot because uh, this is, and, and it, it's just like really budget, But this very charming inclusion here of this, like, and, and it, it's charming, I think, in some ways because it's kind of bad. Like, a lot of this dialogue that they're writing here is so just like, I saw you enjoying some Tex-Mex and wanted to talk to you. It's so flat. I wish that they had just done voice line reads for all of this. The idea that Ray Fenix would come up and go, and go I saw you enjoy, like, mm, I would love that. But, um... You know, the, the budget thing. Again, it's a $60 game, you know. 
it's a you know this is good advice i don't think that i don't i don't think i'm a good combo with my new tag team partner either brit mex oh shit that's true john cena All right, uh, let's s upgrade some stats here. Um, so yeah, this is, you know, if you want to have a wrestler that has a ton of signatures and finishers, you can unlock them here. And then you can put points into strength. I guess like, you know, everything I've heard is that this story mode is quite short. And so I wonder, like, if you do the best, like if you do a perfect run through the story mode, how many of these are, you know, how many of these skills can you unlock? How many different things can you, can you do here? Allows you to break an opponent's guard with a strong strike. Seems like it would be useful. I'm going to go for that. That seems like something a John Cena would have, you know, trying to be loosely canonical, really. Um... Chain wrestling, not a John Cena trait. Let's put a, something into arm power here. And then we'll go to the show. <laughs> the following contest is a tag team match set for... Ah, ball. Sting and Paul. Making their way to the ring, John... And his tag team partner, Malachi Black. And their opponents, this is Sting. I can hit the snowflakes button myself. Sting's neck looking... Lock it in, baby. I don't get control over Malachi Black during this sequence. It, you know, you have to kind of deal with the AI. They made uh, the giant here. Not look. Whoa, whoa. Very, uh, very smooth roll there up from him out of the ring, though. idle position then press you can also what are you talking about like, I'm still the legal man here has the person behind video game wrestling said anything about bringing it back with this game's creator character there's no story creator in this game so you would not you know, like the the thing that makes VGCW 
really sing isn't just the creative characters. Also, I don't think the creative character stuff is deep enough in this game to really... Um, it's not very good. I would love to see them again if, if they just put that story creator into this game and then ideally you know more creative character parts and the ability to share characters if this game had a mode that let you write stories and they put in a bunch of weird backstage arenas and fun shit like that i'd be fantastic damn it's the second time What? what a sports ball? Like, we really. What? You might want to use an item before an important match. You might want to use an item before an important match. Let's do the. Uh, let's do. We don't. Yeah, 22% is just too high of an injury rate, you know? The Undertaker just picked up the Twisty Rockets. Gotta get some dubstep going when you lift, you know? I know, you know, some folks in the wrestling business like to put on a little ACDC when they fucking pump, but no. I've seen this line of dialogue before about concentration curls. Chance encounter. Seems a little disingenuous for a Sammy Guevara to come out talking shit about tag team wrestling, considering what most of his career in AEW has consisted of. Hey, man, you want to come wrestle on dark? It's a trap, John. Show us your true strength on dark. Oh, so it's a supplemental. So you can go fight on dark in addition to your main match. That's interesting. It's really unfortunate that Dark no longer exists. Uh, we're going to go out. We need to, yeah, we need to get some energy back anyway. So, well, that's not going to be that much. Well, we need to do sightseeing to get the... Ugh. Other match. I want to see who we meet. I, well, you need to get another photo. <laughs> American Football Stadium in Jacksonville <laughs> what, where could we possibly be it's this heartfelt conversation with Luchasaurus known for uh, all this talking Is that just a JPEG? Yeah, are they standing in front of a JPEG? They might be. Maybe it's a ping, you know? All right, we need some energy back, but also I need to do this other match. So let's do this match and then we'll do whatever's going to give us energy. Yeah, we'll go eat at a restaurant. It's corny, it's cheap, but Follow it's charming. Set for one fall. 
again, like it's the sort of thing that if this was just a full on budget game and they were like, hey man, it's 30 bucks, you would feel great about it. You'd be like, look at this, it's the little engine that could. And and that would have made more sense, I think, if this game had come out like a year ago. Like AEW is, you know, yes, they're an underdog, but they're also like fairly established in a way that it doesn't feel like they can get away with like low rent shit like this anymore, you know? Um, I, I feel like they've kind of lost their like, we're putting on a show pass like a while ago. Um, I'm yes, I'm I'm with you. I, I think that uh it's it's weak that it doesn't have full entrances. That's another thing that just like presentationally it seems like that's a choice that they, you know, they get to make because they're like, oh well if we if we do it this way, it's probably easier for us to do. And also we can fall back on the old excuse of like, well, that's what they did on that N64 game, brother. And I just I think that's a fucking bad way to go. For like some of this presentational stuff, good clipping, great, cl great clipping here. Um, Four-star match on Dark. I'll take it. Thanks, Taz. Oh, we only lost five energy for that? That's great. Yeah, it's a shame they don't have Daly's place as like a set. Yeah, you're right. Like, that should be a set arena that you can be in or something. Like, yeah, it's weird that that's not here. All right, so now we just need to go out to eat, and that'll give us 60 uh, food points. Crocodile hungry. See, again, if you told me that there was a restaurant in Jacksonville named Crocodile Hungry, I'd be like, yeah, that's stupid, but... But sure, it's Jacksonville. Lounge version of fucking Battle Cry. <laughs> like, again, man, it's little shit like that that's like kind of cool. And you're like, this is fun. But, man, this. It's missing too much stuff. In LA, they serve you avocado toast. You know, the local delicacy. I don't know. Um, okay, let's uh, let's do a stats check here. I think we want more arm power. Actually, we want more. Well, we can get both. We want some grapple power, but we, we want some arm power. And now we'll go to the pay-per-view. It's Saturday night, and you know what that means. AEW All Out is live and sold out here in Jacksonville, Florida. Tonight, our prestigious AEW Tag Team Championship will be on the line in a featured matchup. It's just, you know, you could... The following contest Have him yell. Have him yell. Have it try to try to make it sound like the excitement of television. I get that it's not. It's 
Yes, the, the AI Jim Ross voice sounds more energetic because it was taken from clips from WWE Crush Hour, a much more energetic video game. Uh-oh. Weird, but it works. I don't know. What? Tag team matches in video games are usually pretty dumb because, you know... The entire concept of tag teams is based on a suspension of disbelief that when you try to turn it into a real competition, and it's like, oh, just this time they just didn't get in the ring to break up the pin. I don't know. This time they just didn't get in. I don't know why. It's weird. Um, and they've tried, you know, some organizations have tried to have like rules where like, oh, you can only break up pins this many times per match, or, you know. You tried to establish some kind of like rule based storytelling for that shit and Yeah, so instead it's like I have to depend on AI, AI Malachi Black to do his job and prevent the pin from getting broken up. Or some games decide to just like make it like, oh, you were just in the ring and so you can't get back in the ring. You might get disqualified. Like, well, you're going to lose the match anyway. Who cares? He's done every single thing he said he was going to do, including teaming up with John Cena. Wait. Best friends were the tag champs? That's right, my luggage got stolen, had to wrestle in my street clothes. Oh, it's insider terminology. God damn it, AEW. You're killing the business with this rib talk. John Cena is not having it. Let's just give everybody a super kick for cutscene purposes. You gotta establish dominance in the locker room. You can't let people be stealing your shit. Oh, yeah. Occasionally you get a Tony Khan tweet, by the way. <laughs> this is, I think, the second time this has happened. This should, these tweets should be better. These tweets should be spicier. These tweets should be like fucking 
well, the Death Star is blowing up and everyone's having a great time. And that must mean it's time for fucking Rampage. Like, it, the, they need to be more like the canonical Tony Khan tweets. Like, this story mode opens, by the way, with you getting a phone call from Tony Khan. Like, there's no voice. But it's like, I have a screenshot that I posted. It's on Twitter. But it's also, I think I threw it up in the Discord. Or I will if I, if I haven't. Um, That's like... Tony Khan, sorry I missed your call. It's John Cena. That's very funny. Um, <gasps> Dance with death. Okay, what do we need here? We're in good spirits. We got a lot of stuff, so we probably want to work out. Oh, what's our other match? I guess we can just... Maybe we should just go do the other match first. We could do a meet and greet. Well, we don't need We don't need what the meet and greet provides. We could try to do the mini game. 1,800 skill points is not nothing. How many did we get from this? 765. And it costs us that. But we have to win the minigame or else we get nothing. So you got to take that into account as well. Dining just gives you 60 flat across the board. 600 and 750 for another match. That's not bad, but like I'm not using the shop at all. Maybe I should be. Because then I could be earning more skill points? I don't know. Again, I'm sure there will be a guide on how to, like, min-max your custom wrestler to make sure that they have all of the shit on it. Uh, you'll watch the wrestling video, but did I enjoy Forbidden Door? Yeah, I thought it was awesome. I thought it was a great show. I think that the Danielson-Okada match loses a little steam and gets a little weird at the end, but that's obviously totally understandable considering dude broke his fucking arm. Um... But, uh, yeah, I, th I thought it was a, a great show. I think that show more than, I, you know, it's, it's kind of my, my main criticism, I think, of a lot of AEW stuff. And Forbidden Door is, is in a lot of ways exacerbates that problem where, like, inherently, a lot of those matches are cold and are not often based on longtime feuds. It's nice when it works out that way. Obviously, you get the, the Kenny Omega-Will Ospreay match and things like that but it feels thrown together where you're like jungle boy and sonata huh well all right um but i i thought it was a hell of a show i i think but again you know i think my main criticism of aew across the board is it's too many cold matches they're good matches like you know their in-ring stuff i think is often fucking fantastic they those people even before AEW existed when i was watching new japan on a more regular basis made me a believer in match quality in a way that i was not before um but i wish that they had struck a lot more balance and did more with story stuff and had better storytelling short term medium term long term whatever you want to call it it just, it feels very thrown together at times. And I wish that there was more to latch on to character-wise, story-wise. Like, it doesn't feel like they're building up the character of their talent as well as they should be. And I wish that they did better at that. That's, that's the thing I really think they're lacking. And it makes, it just makes their shows feel disjointed at times, you know? Um, let's do our other match. Let's go wrestle on dark. The following contest is set for one fall. Making his way to the ring, John Sheeta. You know, it's like they wanted a sports-like presentation to their program. Um, 
and then they've gotten away from the the win loss record stuff which i think again from a storytelling perspective makes a ton of sense to not live or die by their storytelling um oh fucking scorpio sky you nasty mother hitting me before the bell that's that's too cold scorpio So, you know, I, I just, I, I think that that's something they need to dial in. It's something that, I like, you know, you kind of look at, like, Collision being, like, two more hours of television, and you go, like, well, surely they have enough time now to build these characters. <laughs> um, if, if we're going to spread out the roster across another couple hours, surely we can do some better work on this front. Um and I don't know that I've seen that yet, but we're two weeks in, so we'll see. Um, and I think that that stuff gets even weirder when you factor Ring of Honor into it, because Ring of Honor is like, look, I, you know, again, like I'm, I'm not talking shit about the quality of those matches. I think the physicality, the in-ring action, whatever you want to call it, I think is fucking awesome, um, generally speaking. But Ring of Honor is almost the worst offender when it comes to just like, here's some fucking matches. Only these ones we want you to pay a monthly fee to watch. And you're like, wait, you're already doing so many fucking meaningless cold matches on all your other television shows. What? Why would one go pay for more of it? I don't like like I I want someone like a Tony Khan, for example, to sit down and explain the Tony Khan cinematic universe of like where these shows fit and how it's all supposed to work in concert and what, it, you know, what is it all like just why or how are these shows different or, you know, something like that. And I think that that's something they'll get there with because they'll have to someday. It's, it's like the big hole in their game. And I say that as someone who watches everything that put AEW puts on television, and I like it a great deal. Um, it just sometimes it we you you go through a week of of the show, and you go like sometimes it just looks like this is kind of spinning its wheels. And you're saying in the chat, Ring of Honor really needs to be booked separately so it gets its own fan base. Like, yeah, it's a lot of talent that kind of crosses back and forth, and and they were way worse about that before the weekly show started, right? Where like half a dynamite and almost all of rampage felt like it was ring of honor shit and you're like i don't care about ring of honor like like i i i'm did not watch i don't have a real brand affinity for ring of honor so like you telling me like here's ian rick about like, i don't fucking care man i've become attached to aew you should show me more of that and, and so that stuff was really bad i think they've gotten better about that but um we need a workout Here's these concentration curls. They're great because they prevent you from cheating. All right, good. Dining's got the the sig the thing next to it. We need this energy, so let's do that. Cheese and thank you. We get a little bit of history uh, of the Philly cheesesteak, which is nice. Something about the phrase, the invention of liquid cheese is uh, alarming.
MJF just hanging out at the Philly cheesesteak place. I feel like he would be uh, he he would be unhappy with his representation here of how, how underdressed he is. I feel like this is like a very out of character looking MJF that seems weird to include. He should he should always be wearing a fucking the suit and the fucking scarf and all that stupid shit. Like that's. Are you able to customize your moves on your character completely or just a few of them? You can customize, you know, yeah, strikes, grapples. Like, there's a template you start with. Um, yeah, I feel like this is... I, I feel like if, if individual wrestlers had sign-off on how they appeared in this game, he would have been a little more protective of his character here and been like, no, put me in the, no, put me in the suit in this scene. Like, put me in the suit and anytime you show me, unless I'm fucking doing physicality whether that's working out or you know or whatever like I should not be in fucking street clothes Very silly. Okay, well, I mean, we're fully fucking juiced up, so we should go out and I guess we'll do a mini game. There's no downside to it. Now we've got Matt Jackson in the fucking weird pose, arms out. So, John Cena, you here to game with us, BTE style? <sighs> Find bombs, toss them at barrels in the ring. Oh, see, uh, more destruction means victory for us, extremely violent people, EVP. See, you get it? You get it? They're vi it's their vice president. Hmm. What a cut up. This John Cena. He's going places. I can't Funny guy. See this. The size of the tank determines how far it can be thrown and the size of the blast. Like, what the? All right. I'm going to win this one. Oops. None of these feel good. None of these feel good to play. None of these mini games so far have been entertaining. It just, it's a fucking mess. How long is the story mode? I think it goes through a year or like four pay-per-views. Um, I think. And so that ends up being, I think you do four dynamites and then a pay-per-view. And then there are four cycles of that, I think is how it ends up going. Oh, shit. Wow, we lost some motivation. But well, we're still highly motivated, it's okay. is set for one fall. Wardlow with MJF. You want to date this game? You want to date the decisions they made about the roster? There you go. And his opponents, whoa, 
How's the actual wrestling gameplay? It, you know, it feels... It's... Uh, you know, I, I've said it a few times here, but, you know, we've been, we've been going a while, so... Um, I think it's fun for a video game and bad for, like... How wrestling often feels or looks or, you know, like, I don't think they're doing a good job of making it look or feel like AEW does on television from a match quality perspective or whatever. Um, but that doesn't necessarily mean that it's a bad video game. It just means that you know. Six moves of doom. <laughs> oh, my God. I remembered you'd like Tex-Mex. Nashville. You could really use, I mean, if they're going to make this Street Fighter map, this is These scenes are just fucking hilarious, man. I like I don't I, I think this game has a ton of I think this game just has a, a ton of shortcomings, you know? It's it's a really complicated product, you know. Cause again, it's really lacking in variety. Um It's shallow in a lot of ways. And then you're sitting on a private plane with fucking flying somewhere over West Virginia. My bootleg ass John Cena sitting with fucking back. I remember you. You're that job guy that was there for a while. Like, huh. Pac talking about flying private and stuff again. This is that's a weird you know. It's a weird character thing. Okay. Well, we got to go out. We got to go sightseeing. Even though we don't need two motivation points, we need to. We need more interactions. 
Yep. CM Punk out on the town in Nashville. These two. These two, huh? This background is fucking hilarious. I, see, like, that's the thing. There's a lot of shit in this game that is just like, that feels real slapped together. And then sometimes that works out in a way where you're like, no, this is actually incredible. Look at this fucking shit background with these two models just basically gesticulating in front of it and never speaking. And it's got, such, yeah, it has very strong fucking B game vibes to it. But there's just parts of it where you're like, again, when you when you start to like logically look at, you're like, okay, but also it's sixty dollars, and also it's really lacking in these significant areas in terms of just like feature sets you would expect from a wrestling game, and uh, CM Punk on the comeback tour out here talking about how much he likes everybody. I have been enjoying your work in AEW, by the way. There, that's yeah sure yeah again the, all, a lot of these criticisms get really a lot softer if this game is is 30 bucks instead of 60 um and so you know when it gets lower in price like a lot of things do i wonder and also i guess it depends on what their update cadence is you know if, if they're putting new wrestlers in it like if they no, fuck no. I won't wrestle on... I don't wrestle on Fridays, brother. No, we keep the locker room separate, so I'm not on Rampage. Yes, I will. Yeah, me and Tony Khan worked out this storyline on my porch. Rampage is where CM Punk made his triumphant comeback. Really? Kind of fucked. I mean, like, okay. Like, honestly, yes. But also, the way that they're, like, telling the story of AEW here, and they're like, uh, yeah, hey, Rampage is uh, it's a supplemental show. Which, I mean, it is. It's an hour-long thing. It's Friday. You know, like, like it, it, it always was. But there's just... Like, this is like... You can do Dark or Rampage. They're basically the same. You're like, oof, oof. The rewards are better on Rampage because at least it's on television. Like, it's... They're... It's... They're, they're saying a lot here in a weird way. <laughs> also, I think it's funny that, like, you wrestling CM Punk is just like... It's a thing you can do along the way. Like, whatever. Or not. You want to wrestle CM Punk? I'm like, mm, I guess. I don't know. This bout is set for one fall. See, like, the, you know, if this storyline was, like, Making deep and had, like, branching yeah. paths in major ways and stuff, like, there should be situations where you're like, you know, oh, I, I beat CM Punk here, and, and, like, his whole fucking return is a fucking... is a bust, <laughs> you know? A lot of fun times with John Cena and CM Punk. How's Punk's record one and two? Uh, it's the it takes into account the records that you accrue in exhibition matches and you know when you're playing the other modes. And so I think I've played against him twice and as him once. So I've won once and he's, he's won once and lost twice.
don't have patience for fucking weird dipshits in the chat. I just don't. Well, CM Punk's grand return really went well. See, now the whole storyline should be like fucking Tony Khan's goons are after you for um, for fucking up the plan. Um, Yeah, they have a few video pieces. Like they, they have bits a bit from the initial press conference, the thing they did in the parking lot with like where Chris Jericho walked out and said some stuff. Um We're doing pretty well on energy and motivation, so I guess that means it's time to work out. Zero percent chance of injury, time to do intense training. But yeah, they have bits of, of like the Bucks talking into the microphone there at the um at that initial weird press conference thing they did. I remember watching that, that stream being like super broken, but then what you could see is just going like This is a really weird this is a really fucking strange, like for for what is supposed to be the, the big kickoff of a new brand, this has a real fucking, again, a real low rent bot. They hadn't quite figured out how to do it. Uh, and some might say that they still haven't quite figured out how to do it, and I might agree. You know, it's still a few too many weird. Nah, it's been a while. When was the last time they had a real, real good audio problem on a broadcast, right? When there's... John Cena is famished again. We love pork here in Nashville. Does the supposed future Battle Royale update interest you at all? I, yeah, I mean, yes. I'm interested to see what they do with this game across the board. You know, it's it needs more than more wrestlers. Like, again, the, the roster is, a, a, you know, is a real problem, but, like, it needs kind of a lot. Um... That's why I say I, I don't know that I, I necessarily view this game as, like, a great jumping off point for them. I, I think that there's just foundational stuff here that's missing or or not not done very well. Um increases the number of strike combo hits you can perform. That's interesting. Agile backstep Would John Cena have strike proficiency? Maybe he would. Would John Cena be able to put his hands in his pockets? Let's go with strike proficiency. And then, do we have enough for anything else? No. I guess we have enough for a passive. I don't... Boost momentum if you perform 10 or more moves. Boost momentum when you taunt. Like, I'm not really taunting a lot. I guess I'll just save those points for something else. Well, I guess maybe we could spend, we'll put them into kick power. Let's go to dynamite. The following contest is a tag team match set for one fall. 
making their way to the ring, Joe Shida. Any word on how this performs on Steam Deck? No, I have not seen the PC version. I did ask them about the PC version of the game, um, but uh, did not receive it. Uh, This should be the era where they weren't calling him Cody Rhodes. Like, this should just be like Cody and Dustin Rhodes. You know? Like, their weird kind of tongue-in-cheek, let's not say the word Rhodes. Uh, yeah, I know that there's been footage out there of it running on Steam Deck. Uh, and I, they said in their, uh, their update, I think earlier this week or yesterday, whenever that thing came out, uh, that they were working on getting it verified on Steam Deck. So... Seems like something that they are interested in doing. Um, but yeah, when I put in the request, I was like, hey, you know, I, I would, it'd be nice if I could see... Um, it'd be nice to be able to test out the cross-play, is what I said. So if you happen to have PlayStation 5 and PC, that would be great. Um... And uh, they sent over a, two PS5 copies, um, and Glenn and I ended up playing it on PS5. Um, and obviously, uh, in the time since then, it has become apparent that the game uh, does not, in fact, have crossplay. Um, which they they said it would. Standing fucking moves over and over again to break and to stop the pin from getting broken up is very funny. Uh, wait, is there no commentary on these matches? Yes, there is no commentary in this game. This is one of the many things I'm talking about when we talk about some corners feeling cut or other aspects of the game feeling undercooked. What's this? It's the other members of Death Triangle. Good God. Disgusting. <laughs> New Orleans. Like, it would have been a... That would have been a fun treat. Oh. Okay, we have pretty hot. We have good motivation, but it could be better. Why don't we, uh, what can we do here? Should we go sightseeing? Should we do a meet and greet? We don't really need anything that we're going to get out of that. So why don't we start with a workout? Uh. Rehos here. Asks if we know New Orleans. Bonus 800 skill points from random Reho encounter. Oh, let's see. What should do? I want to wrestle on dark, or it should just tell you your opponent because that's that would be more interesting. This bout is set. For Wait a minute. Fall. What is the storyline I'm involved in here? That this is the the match they're giving me, and will this factor into anything? Oh! Devious tactics. Yeah. 
any managers from this era, like Arn or Tully or Jake Roberts. I have not seen, I mean, no, uh, because the, the, the manager selection is just the roster again. So no, I don't, I don't think any of them are in there. Um, we'll finish this and then we'll real quickly go into the, the actual creation stuff. So just so I can show you a little bit of that. Um, Uh, Arn is in... Arn is... Actually, Arn is playable. I think you can... I, am I crazy? No. I, I I forgot already. We looked at the roster earlier, but I've, I've already forgotten. But I think Arn is in there. What's this capital H hook thing, Taz? Come on. We're gonna wrap up here pretty soon, so I'm gonna I'm gonna jump out of this and uh, We'll go into the creator wrestler and yeah, I'll, I'll look at the creator arena here because I haven't really spent much time with it. Uh, yeah, let's see. New arena. You could create your own arena here in this mode. Don't disappoint me. I'm expecting something really cool. All right, Taz. I, uh, yeah, I guess. You can disrespect us if you lie. But disrespect come with a price. Pain bitches with the mic. This feels maybe like it's not going to have a ton of options. Um, let's start with, I guess, well, what's even the difference here? You know, at least full gear as, you know, it's like they've got two versions of, like, does it have the screen? Yeah. They basically just have, like, does it have this fake neon chandelier? Or does it have the two tunnels? Or does it have the screen in the middle? Like, these are effectively identical, right? I'm going to start with dynamite, I guess. Uh, arena settings. Matchup screen. Do they have anything? So, the, the, a lot of the creation stuff has these options for, like, show me all the locked things in this category that I haven't unlocked. But, like, there's no one... There's nothing locked because there's barely anything in here. And there's nothing unique like the, like create an arena and use the ones that are from all of the other arenas that are already in here. Like they don't have any custom like unique transition things in here at all. So why? So why? All right. What are our ring options? We can change like, okay, so we got a bunch of different mats here. We can put Sting logos on the on the mat, I guess. Okay, we can do stained. Here we go, leopard skin mat. That's what we're going with. Imagine if they did this. Oh, we can change the color of each rope individually. Fucking America, goddamn it! Barbecue sauce. It would be rad if you could import images. Yeah, it, a lot of things would be rad if they made these modes like more engaging. Like, yeah, what what are what are our options here? Okay, so we have the, the AEW Games logo. What, yeah. Blue Razzle Bash? Citrus Icon? Wait, are, is there a Sting Energy Drink? Is 
there a fucking sting energy drink? Do we need to we need to find some scorpion punch? What are our other options here before we pick the These options are fucking whatever, man. You know what I mean? Like I, I don't All right, what are our ringside? Okay, we can do custom guardrails. So these, some of these were ones that I unlocked with some of the... All right, we want the Ska Arena. Looking good. Stage and ramp. Time worn wall. Oh, is there just, there's there's no oh I need to select a screen oh there's there's no screen for this one so okay. Where I, you know I want a big moving snake on the ramp something good something cool. Eight different positions for this horse, but none of them are on the stage. Dog. Blue cyber globe. Like you could have put, you know, obviously the, the, the images have colors on them, but like lighting 11, just name them, just name them. Did I overwrite the horse? Damn it. Oh, well. Um, and then we'll look at the custom wrestler stuff real quick here too. Uh, So you set, um, you know, where they're from, somewhere in the USA. You want to say they're from, for example, West Newberry, Mass. You can do that. Yonkers. Choose what their favorite weapon is. I think this means this will be the first weapon that comes out when you reach under the ring every single time. You know, so if you always want to make sure you've got access to a skateboard, you can do that. Um, kind of set the, the AI type here, but then that's separate from the moves. To the four corners. Um, this is where I, this is, I think, where I started getting pretty bummed out when I saw that it was just like, oh, it's just, you just have eight faces and that's it. There are your faces. No, no ability to change them. It's just eight fucking faces. Like, I, I don't. It's crazy, you know? Like, you can set the eye colors individually if you want, but we have eight faces. 
But the, yeah, the most we get to do here is eyebrows, I, I suppose. Pretty underwhelming hair options. Again, just not a lot of choices here. It's it's like, yeah, shocking is maybe the word. Like, you know, not, I don't want to be like melodramatic, right? But like, I'm shocked by the lack of options in this mode, given how successful and cool some of this stuff can be. Is there any stuff to unlock? Yes, and some of that stuff shows up when we were looking at, um, all that stuff will show up in these menus. It'll just have a price on it if we don't have it unlocked. So, but you can see here, you know, there's a, a tab for locked and there's nothing there. There's not that much stuff to unlock. Um, you set ring attire, entrance attire, and street clothes. And this is like kind of a frustrating, you, you noticed that my John Cena had his hat on while he wrestled. It's because headwear is a ring attire thing and there is an, and not an entrance attire thing. Um, and so I can't set a hat as just an entrance thing because this it's only an option here. And so either you make them wrestle in a fucking crown the entire time if you decide you want a crown during the intro um, or not. There's, a, there's some fucking pro wrestling tees fucking hats in here. We have some more stinger stuff here. It's just like strange choices, like incorrect choices, I guess, like that you just look at and go like, I don't understand why you would, why would you do this? Why would you do this this way? Um, this is a set of glasses that we purchased, you know, um, and apparently it's the only, it was the only set of locked glasses left. So we'll, I don't know, we'll put that on our guy. Why not? Um, So yeah, I, I just I I feel like a lot of the options are shitty. <laughs> um, You know, at least they had the common DC to put some fucking jean shorts in the game. I mean, could you, could you imagine a world in which they didn't do that? I could, because there's just like so many other missing things in this game, you know. All right, this dude looks like he uh, would fucking lose a lot on dark. And then if we want to modify his stuff for entrance attire, you can say like, let's put a t-shirt on him, I guess. Or you can just go with the existing attire here. But let's, let's put this on him for this stuff. And then street clothes are like, you know, hey, they're gonna be cutscenes and other things and for street clothes you could you could have him wearing a, a hat here all right there's the street clothes um we'll look at moveset stuff here real quick are you able to download other other people's create a wrestler i will say it again no. No, you cannot. Um, I was as surprised as you were. A lot of signature moves. Three different ways to do the Falcon Arrow. Uh, you want a, some Death Valley drivers. There's a, a few of them. None of them are quite as... As uh, 
John Cena-esque as you might like, but they're all close enough. Uh, I believe Excalibur was on Twitter t taking credit for uh, naming their version of the F5 Diverculitis, which is funny. Um, good number of moves, I'll say, you know, like, uh, you know, you want the drill claw, they got the drill claw. Herculitis is from Better Call Saul. Does someone do an F5 in Better Call Saul? Because it's called diverculitis because Brock Lesnar had diverculitis. So I don't... Oh, he called it deep sea diverculitis when Owens did... Okay, yeah, all right. So it was something like pre-AEW, I guess. Um... Let's see here. So these are pretty much going to be your, you know, again, you know, signatures and finishers and stuff. You're kind of, you have a lot of choices here, but I, I, I wish that maybe some of these were just more creatively named in some cases, but I guess most of them are named by what they are. Um... Obviously, a lot of the existing rosters, finishers, and, and stuff like that in here, if you if you so desire. Um, six super kicks, depending on how, how do you want your fin super kick finisher to look. You got six different options. Are there any unlockable finishers? No. No, there are not. All this stuff is unlocked out of the gate. The only unlockable move stuff is going to be stuff like entrances and taunts and stuff like that. So you will see some... If we go through the taunts list, you'll see some of them that I have not unlocked. Victory poses and, and, and all that sort of stuff. Um... I was hoping for more weird stuff in the cre or more more recognizable stuff in the creation stuff. You know, that's something that the WWE games do, and obviously, you know, Fire Pro is the king of this. But um, putting a bunch of moves that you look at and go, "Oh, that's this person's finish." That's this, you know, that are not on the roster. You know, like they're not. There's just a lot of stuff missing, I guess. Um, and maybe the stuff that's in there that I'm just not, you know, like uh, the, it's named like fucking blah, 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 number 15 or, you know, and, and so it's, it's not obvious there's, there is some of those things, but, um, you know, you customize different levels of taunts, depending on what you're doing, the four directions on the right stick, you can do different taunts for each one and then a different one when you go special. So like this different slots are good, I think. You know, you have your kind of, you know, hey, uh, I want my first attack to be punch four. And then, you know, if I combo it into it, I want it to be this, and, you know. So you do have options on how you want your strikes to look. Again, this is not the longest list of moves here for, you know, front low strike, standing strikes. Um. But you see, you know, you can kind of go in here and, well, we can't do this because we don't have springboard or, or tope or anything like that. But if you want to customize your ladder dive, you can choose from one of three. So it's a thing where, like, they've got the slots. They just don't have the moves in a lot of cases. Or, you know, you, you, you kind of wish that maybe there was a little bit more um, when it comes to customizing moves and, and all that sort of stuff. We'll end with the roster since a bunch of people have asked. I know I've, I've shown it off, but... Um, and then you set the scene like if you want dudes behind you in your entrance, you can you can do that too. So, um, I'm not gonna save this guy. I just don't care.
Um, Six figures in my savings. So we got here, you know, Abaddon, Adam Cole, Adam Page, Andrade, Anna J. Aubrey Edwards, which is unlockable, but she's like super cheap. So, uh, little Brian Cage, little Britt Baker, Danielson, Jericho, Christian, Chuck Taylor, CM Punk, Cody, Darby, Dustin, little Eddie Kingston, Karashida, Jay Cargill, Jeff Hardy. I don't have Matt Hardy. He's a pre order guy, and that was not provided when they sent codes out, the pre order stuff. So, I don't know how that will work or not work. Uh, well, John Silver, Moxley, Jungle Boy, Kenny, Statlander, Lance Archer, Luchasaurus, Malachi Black, Matt Jackson, Miro, MJF, Nick Jackson. You'll see some of the titles on some of these people in weird ways here. Orange Cassidy, Mac Penta, Hobbs, Starks, Phoenix. Sammy, Time Melo, you know, Wardlow, John Cena, you know. Um, and so I'm, I'm, I'm crazy. Like there is no, for some reason I was like, oh yeah, uh, Arn is in here as a slug bite. I'm fucking, no, it's not true. Ah, yes. Dark Order, John Silver and Anna J. Isn't Brody Lee supposed to be? I mean, maybe there's some characters that are unlockable through the story mode and stuff that I just haven't unlocked yet, but I... Brody Lee's supposed to be in this game, isn't he? Obviously, Owen Hart is supposed to be in there, too, so I don't wonder if it's like, yeah, maybe that's a, a story thing that you have to unlock a, few, a couple of the characters. Um... So you just have this weird thing where you've got like, and hey, they got all three members of Death Triangle. You know? Um, so that's AEW Fight Forever. I think it's, um, again, you know, it's a game that's got some heart for sure and and some real charm to it, but, uh, I think a lot of it is really underwhelming. And I think you saw, you know, when I'm, when I'm going through some of these creation options and looking at like, here's eight preset faces, um, with no ability to customize them beyond that, I think is borderline embarrassing for a modern video game. When we're talking about a $60 video game, um, I think that that's the sort of stuff you look at and go, this just doesn't, um, it doesn't add up. It, it needs more or it needs to cost less. And, um, yeah, you can see bits and pieces where like, they've got rarity options on a lot of the, uh, things that you put on custom arenas and custom characters and everything. And so you wonder like, okay, are they, are they doing a battle pass like some of the data mining stuff did? And will there be more cosmetics there? Um, I think depending on how they handle that stuff, that will either be okay or extremely not okay because the base game launches with such a low amount of stuff. Like the options feel truly shitty. And so if they end up doing that sort of cosmetic stuff after the fact and piecemeal it out to you across premium purchases when the base game is so underwhelming on that front, that starts to feel real filthy. Um, especially again for a $60 game. Um, and so, you know, I, I think that there's, there's even, even as they start to roll out their plans for updates and talk about what they plan to do, I think there are still a lot of landmines for them in their future. If that's the route they truly intend to go. Um, and we'll see what they end up selling because again, I, I think that there's like this, this game should have been 30 bucks for the roster. Like as dated as it is, like that's a bummer, but I didn't think for the, the gaping holes in the roster, um, even when you look at the DLC that they've announced for like their season pass, 
I don't think that fills every hole. I don't think that gets you there. Um, there's still more. Um, I think that the, again, the creation options, the inability to share those creations online is like one of those, like, it, it's almost a deal breaker, you know, like that's one of the most fun things. That's the, I, honestly, the most fun I have with the WWE game is seeing what custom characters people have made, uh, because I certainly don't have any fun playing it. Um, and so the inability to share that stuff online, I think is just like a gaping hole. You just look at it and go like, what the fuck? But yeah, exactly. Yeah. Bryn, you're right. The options are so limited. What would you even be sharing? I use face six. I use face four. Like, yeah, maybe that would just suck. Um, and so that's why I, I you know, when I, when I look at this and, and be like, oh, it's a good foundation for what's to come. Like, no, because if they are going to nickel and dime people for the next couple of years on piecemeal additions to this game, whether they're cosmetic or new wrestlers or whatever, like there's just foundational stuff in this game that is straight up missing. So unless they're going to bolt on huge updates to functionality, which is not usually something you get. Um, I, I don't know that this is the game that's going to get there. I look at this and say, this is, this would have been a good game. Uh, this would have been a, a solid buy at 30 bucks uh, at a budget price. You would go like, okay, yeah, no, it's a, it's their first attempt and it's, it's out at a budget price. And yeah, you know, Hey, it, it's slim pickings, but it was 30 bucks. But instead, you end up in this situation where now it's like, okay, what are they going to do next? Because they charged 60 um, I, and it's missing a ton of stuff. They almost need to issue another game, another full-fledged, full-price game in a year or 18 months or whatever else and have that have all of the shit that this one should have had um, and maybe even do a make good for people that bought this one. Like, hey, we'll sell you the second one at a discount if you own if you own the first one um and make sure that that one has all of the online sharing and a, a proper roster or or whatever else um it's yeah it's 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 got a real bizarre it's just a bizarre thing again it has its charm and it's got this kind of low budget japanese charm like b game quality to it that you know kind of gives you ps2 vibes in a way even though they were chasing after the N64 a little too hard. Um, yeah, it's it's really hard to recommend in, the, in its current state, I'll say. But um, as there are basically two wrestling companies and two wrestling video games that are big enough to do this sort of thing in the United States, I mean, if you're a big wrestling fan, it's hard to say, you know, hey, don't get it because... You know, people spent $70 on the WWE game and for as feature complete as it is, I sure don't enjoy much about it from a video game perspective. At least when I play this, I go like, ah, eh, it doesn't look or feel like AEW television in any way, shape or form, but as a video game, it's okay. It's fun-ish. I don't know if it's long-term fun or not. For me, it's almost certainly not like, um... But that's, you know, I was not a massive fan of those N64 games when they came out for similar reasons. So I, I don't know. I just, I think you just kind of can't get away with this in this day and age for that price. So there you have it. Thanks everybody for watching. I'm going to take off. Uh, I'll be back on Friday and we'll do something else. I was, uh, yeah, we'll do what, um, and maybe I'll have more to say about the PC version at that point. I don't know, but like, Hey, sludge life two is out. I want to play some of that. Maybe a little Aliens Dark Descent. I've heard good things. Mars First Logistics is out in early access, so I want to I definitely want to look at that. Um, so maybe we'll check that sort of stuff out on Friday. In the meantime, take care of yourselves, and I will see you in a couple days. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Bye.